we're currently in the drought season now, and there's no issue of me um, finding water, etc. Because of course we save up to 90% water when using the vertical farms. It's on an intermittent system. Three minutes on, 12 minutes off. We hold about five liters of water in the reservoir that comes on, comes up, and it recycles. Wow, so this is farming of the future? Farming of the future, I would say. Wow. <laughs> Jamaica Tower Farms is a sustainable, innovative farming um, company, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we started by just sitting down and thinking about innovative things in the agricultural sector. I mean, I've always been a fan of um, the agricultural sector being sustainable, self-sustainable, feeding the nation, etc. Where did the interest in farming come from? Well, from youth, back in the days, right? Um, I mean, I was always a lover of animals and stuff like that. So growing up um, in the corporate area as well, Kingston 6, um, I was able, to, I was privileged to have a lot of chickens, a lot of ducks and stuff like that. Having my grandfather, Samuel Clayton, encouraged me or, you know, in anything that I wanted to pursue. Dogs, I just love of animals overall. What exactly is vertical farming? Well, vertical farming is farming upwards, right? So, um, you are, for, well, from the traditional method, you have a lot of space saving with the farming, right? Because it saves up to... 80% of um, the space when, it, when compared to um, your conventional horizontal farming, both hydroponically and in ground as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're able to farm more in less space. This method of farming as well, what are some of the specific advantages besides the farming upwards? I noticed there, there's no soil. <laughs> yes, there's no soil. So the nutrient is 100% ionic mineral that comes along with the um, the vertical platform as well from agrotonomy and tower gardens right um, some of the advantages are water saving low electricity usage nutrient density minimal um, pesticides using and the versatility as, and you need no experience to actually start a vertical farm mm -hmm, like this mm -hmm. and what are the produce that you have on on this farm. Currently we have basils, we have scotch bonnet peppers, we have um, scallion and we have pak choys. And pak choy? Yes. Comparing it to a regular farm, this amount of produce would hold on like how many acres? Okay, so currently we're farming one acre of um, scotch bonnet pepper, which is generally about 2,000 to 2,500. We have 2,000 um, plants here now of scotch bonnet and then on 10 towers we're doing different experiments with the um, scallion, leafy greens, and basils as well. And why did you choose those, those, those crops? Um, well, I chose Scotch Bonnet because, of course, you know, the pepper industry is going through the roof. Um, Scotch Bonnet is something that is in high demand and it's an uh, easy seller. Are there any noticeable differences between, you know, crops planted this way versus the ones that we plant in the traditional conventional farm? Um, well, the only thing is that you, because it's farmed in a controlled environment, of course, um, you get a higher density in terms of the turnout, um, you, you use less pesticides, and in terms of the um, flavors and stuff like that, compared to traditional methods, there's no noticeable difference. There's a study actually on um, Agrotonomy's website that you can, a scientific study, mm -hmm. that when compared to um, regular um, traditional methods, the flavonoids and the um, antioxidants are the same as the natural in soil grown okay. method. So this is the way to go then? Because you don't really lose anything? Basically. Well, um, I mean, I'm still promoting um, in ground, but of course, if you have the constraints, I mean, generally speaking, we're on a quarter acre property here now, right, at a residential unit. Um, this is my home of dwelling, of course, and I'm able to farm commercially without having to go out and seek, you know, uh, three, uh, a full acre of land. You understand what I'm saying? Irrigation, um, pests, etc. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is like... We're currently in the drought season now, and there's no issue of me um, 
finding water, etc. Because, of course, we save up to 90% water when using the vertical farms. It's on an intermittent system. Three minutes on, 12 minutes off. We hold about five liters of water in the reservoir that comes on, comes up, and it recycles. Wow. So this is farming of the future? Farming of the future, I would say. Wow. <laughs> to, to include the traditional method, of course, once everything is, um, once you have, once you have everything, all your ducks in a row, basically, mm -hmm. right? Because as I said before, I'm still not going outside of the traditional methods, but this is for persons with, of course, um, a certain constraint to include, but not limited to space and, um, of course, land availability, mm -hmm. um, water, and all the things that we're plagued with in the agricultural sector. There is an initial um, startup cost, obviously, right um it was but then again um as i said you're looking at about 10 years in terms of sustainability right based on um based on everything all the equipment and materials here that are used so um really and truly i mean over the payback the roi for it is of course within the three to five years That's so do you think this is something that the government should be promoting and investing in Yes, um, I think they're actually doing it already. There are persons um, in the agricultural industry that are actually doing this already, Sashana, right? Um, using hydroponics, aqu aquaponics, and even vertical farming mm -hmm. too as well, mm -hmm. right? Using their own methods. But do you think it is being promoted enough? Um, or, it, yeah. In, in, in more, yes, more yes than no, right? But I'm thinking it's just the publicity and the public knowledge that needs to be increased and the public awareness because, of course, there's a lot of um, feedback, negative feedbacks to the unknown, of course, growing outside of the soil. Mm -hmm. why, why, why we need this in Jamaica? You understand what I'm saying? As the verses, why? Because everything is natural. There are no chemical additives or anything like that. It's a 100% natural ionic solution that is used to farm, um, which is the farming, um, the nutrient method mm -hmm. of delivery to the plants. Mm -hmm.